Hello, and welcome to this YouTube presentation. Tonight, we talk about something that has been rocking the world, a strange obelisk that has been found in Utah, of which has inspired people of archaeology, journalism, and several people around the world. Most people think it may be some artist. We think it's aliens. Welcome to Now News. Richard Oliver, how are you, my friend? Chris, I thought I'd gone back in time, man. I thought, <laughs> I thought I, Chris, I thought, I thought the paranormal had caught up. Listen, <laughs> it was a time. I thought I've invented I, my tablet's become a time machine. Um, Your tablet yeah, is definitely good, a time machine. It, it's 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 Elon Musk's Starlink man. That's what, that's what it is. It's a drone. That's why everything is. It's everything. Everything is Elon Musk star, Starlink. Well, if another person says that, they're going to stick Elon Musk up their farter. It's okay. getting on my nerves. Yeah. yeah. It's um. Yeah. It's it's, a bit, well, it's an obelisk. It's a bit odd, but yeah. Well, it's, uh, to be fair, I find it kind of underwhelming. To be honest, people's like, this giant obelisk has been found in areas uh, has been found in Utah and it stands at a gigantic eight foot tall and it will take at least <laughs> one man standing atop another man in order to see over it. This has been likened <laughs> to the Washington Monument, Cleopatra's obelisk and several tall and pointy things around the world. However we will say nothing about you... King <laughs> However we'll say nothing about King John's penis. <laughs> <laughs> You 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 gotta love twenty you gotta love Earth in twenty twenty right a mysterious metallic object actually turns out on it's planet a slab of metal and they 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 send a bunch of nutters out there to take selfies with it I thought it was just brilliant <laughs> I thought it was that that's that's it it says sci and it kept saying scientists have found it it was a pilot found it, it was flying yeah, helicopter it was it was um, some, it was some guy. Like, Workers, like public sector workers, that were counting sheep. Apparently, Council. counting sheep. What are they Welsh? Council workers come up. <laughs> I, don't know, I can't get that. I can't get that in the back of the van. But what do you want me to do with it? it Can you imagine if it was found in Wales? It'd be like this. It'd be like, well, I was walking on the fields of Caradigion the other day, and a giant metal thing was there, and the sheep were dancing around it, and. Uh, I didn't know what to make of it. It was uh, eight foot tall. Oh, it must be alien. It must be extraterrestrial. Definitely, definitely. When you consider the Light fact... Oh, what, what's, what's that fucking George or whatever his name is? What the fuck ancient aliens got to say about it? You know? When you consider the fact <laughs> that it's metal in the middle of the desert, ancient aliens must be responsible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, don't be up a lot, a lot. Don't be up a lot, a lot, please. Oh, whatever it is, freaking yeah. name is. I can't... He looks oh, like a centauri from Babylon 5. <laughs> he, know, he doesn't know his own bloody name, does he? I, bet he, I, bet he... <laughs> I, I can't imagine somebody just want to randomly put something like that in the middle of nowhere. So it was just the fact that, yeah, you had a bunch of council workers just turn up and go like, oh, look, let's have a look at the top but of it. The winner of like one of the most prolific <laughs> prizes, I can't remember what the fuck it was now, right? I, 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 I'll... I'll... I'll, I'll look it up, right? I will look it up and I'll, I'll put it on screen or something, right? But one of the biggest art prizes was a collection of spent tea bags on a radiator about three years ago. It won the British Art Prize. So if some artist wants to put a slab of metal in the desert, well, it's abstract art, isn't it? Homer Simpson could have done well, better. I, I remember when... I remember one, there was one, a guy turned a shed into a boat and then turned it back into a shed <laughs> and he won the Turner Prize. I was like, ah, holy shit. <laughs> wait, wait, just take why, isn't being, why isn't being Q on, on the fucking Turner Prize? Well, um, just take him to the, it, I think it's the uh, victory I, I, in Hereford because that was, a, I think it was the victory or something like that. It was, yeah, I think it was like the victory or something like that. I, was called, I can't remember the name. If any of you guys know, because I've been in this pub and it is absolutely awesome. It's in Hereford. It's not far off the sort of <coughs> outer edge of the town. When you go down the main street of Hereford and you go past like the way the Midland Bank is or HSBC or whatever you want to call it 
and there's like a road down there and you go down there's like the victory or the valiant or something like that and you go in there right and you inside of it is shaped like a boat it is it is amazing this place this pub in hereford and uh, i don't even know if it still exists you know i was in hereford what back in i, I was gonna say i've been to, I, i've been to hereford i can't remember <sighs> seeing that yeah, it's off the beaten track. I used to live there, but it's off the beaten track a little bit. It is. It's a bit oh. off the beat. It's not far from Iron Road in Hereford. If anyone oh, knows Iron Road in Hereford, it's not far from there. If mem- I'm going back like 20 odd years now. So, like, last time I was in Hereford was 2001. You know, it was pre 9 11 I was in Hereford. So, yeah, I think I went in yeah. like a couple of times on a visit, but. So, should we have a look at this article then and see, and see what uh, people yeah. are <clears throat> saying? A mysterious monolith has been discovered. Should I do it in my 1950s voice? A mysterious monolith has been discovered in a remote part of Utah after being spotted by state employees counting sheep from a helicopter. The structure, estimated between 10 foot and 12 foot high, about 3 metres, apparently... <laughs> has to be planted in the ground. It was made from some sort of metal. It shines in a sharp contrast to the erroneous red rocks which surround it. Utah Highway Patrol shared images of both the sheep and the monolith. And you can see the sheep (coughs) and the monolith here. So... Hey, I tell you what, that's fucking dangerous. What? Counting sheep by flying helicopter. (laughs) <laughs> the helicopter pilot Brett Hitchens told local news channel KSL TV that's been about the strangest thing I have come across out there in all my years of flying. Hutchings was flying for Utah Department of Public Safety, which was helping wildlife resource officers count bighorn sheep in the south of the state. One of the biologists I go back to my normal voice. <laughs> one of the biologists is the one who spotted it. We just happened to fly directly over the top of it, Hitchens said. He was like, Whoa, 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 dude. Turn around, turn around. And I was like, What? And he said, There's this thing back there. I've got to go back and take a look at it. The monolith in its setting resembles the famous scene from Stanley Kubrick's 1968 film in which a group of apes encounter a giant slab. The somewhat monkey-like behaviour of two crew members dressed in sci-fi costume-like overalls who found themselves compelled to climb onto each other's shoulders in an apparent effort to see over the top of the rectangular cuboid only added to the impression. Why don't you just walk round it? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we'd have to have a look in the top and see if it was hollow or something. That's the first thing I'd do. If, it, if I went, walked round it and it was no, I'd have to climb at the top. That's just instinct. I'd have to go right. Is there but it's in, not is even it, that. It's not even that. It's not even that. That you know that thick. It's a sheet of metal. Mm. I know. I, I, I know. Do you know? I think it's some jock worker or something in Utah, like some truck guy or something, forgot to offload some of his load. And he was driving past and Joe's Joe, oh, we're just we're just gonna plant this year. And then suddenly yeah. the entire world has just gone Oh my god. Well Oh my god. It's, it's, uh... <clears throat> aliens have landed. Aliens have landed. It's definitely aliens, guys. It's definitely, definitely, definitely aliens. <clears throat> what say you, Richard? Well it'd be Well it'd be a, it'd be pretty cool and awesome if it was, but yeah, I think it's just I don't know, it's just it's 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 something to it? I mean, it's anything to take your eye off what's really going on. And little stories like this are getting such big headlines. I mean, if that was genuinely something like paranormal or UFO related, the military would that place be in a in, in a Simpsons dome before you could say who said that dome it, it, dome. It, you know, it, it would. Uh, Epa. So Epa. I don't know. It's still, it's still. It's still, you know, I have little stories like that. Or they just inspire whoever thought of it. Thought, I wonder if anybody will take, you know, actually see this and go. Probably, 
I can imagine if we just stumbled across that in the middle of the desert in Utah, especially with things like Skinwalker Ranch, and you, you know, I think that'd freak you out. I don't know, I'd find it funny, like I have done. Perhaps I've just got a weird sense of humor, and perhaps I'm just slightly warped, but you know. Yeah, we're just so used to it, I mean, we're just so used to the weird. <laughs> it's it's you, kind you of get... a non story where I'm coming from, really, but yeah. you know, we're covering it because, and that's why I'm being slightly facetious and slightly humorous, is because sometimes you just need to have a laugh, and you know, I, I want to bring that humor to this channel. Because we've t we've discussed this several times, haven't we? But yeah, personally, you know, I think I would agree. It's probably some fluke, or some artist, or something, you know. Um, but then you look at like the the Georgia Guidestones. They don't know where they came from, but at least they had some sort of statement about them. Uh, this is just a slab of metal. <coughs> it's a slab of metal. If it was lying on its side, people wouldn't batter an eyelid. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, you know, with, with with them stones. I mean, if you, I mean, they were put up, and for a long time they caused mystery. I mean, there's a few things like this that have caused a mystery, and I think it's good to have it in the world because, yeah, absolutely. You know, well, with our field, I mean, it's not it's not everyone gets to see it. Yeah. And it's always one of them things you can sort of go, ah, no, 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 no. But with that, I mean, it's pretty, it's as plain as nose on your face, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a shiny bit of metal in a, in a rather, you know, barren desert. So. I wonder, I wonder if, if you went back to like when we first started this journey back in 2013 and uh, someone come up to us, like say we were investigating, let's take, you know, Castle Cork, for example, where the, the first ghost box message that we put on this channel, you know, uh, was, uh, we had that, that. And someone just walked up to us and said, hey guys, I'm a time traveler from 2020. We're getting to the end of November. Basically, the world's on the brink of, like, collapse. America is on the brink of civil war. We've got this virus that's going around and, you know, making people ill or, or whatever, and it's massive control on the world. But everyone's really captivated by the slab of metal in the desert. What do our reaction would be? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to be honest, there's been a few stories like that. I mean, there's the story at the moment of this signal they're picking up that keeps repeating. There's been, you know, there's been so many different stories coming up of, like, UFO, um, you know, incidents and different things going on in the world. Signals from outer space, this, this. And you just, I've been looking at it going, well, uh, if you, uh, yeah, if you just, remember, it just seems underwhelming. If you remember, uh, on one of our investigations in 2017, and it, it's actually on the credits for the now debate, it said the ghost box says, "When the signal is ready, the world will wake up." So, thank you guys for joining us for now news. Richard, do you have any final words? No, I think we covered it all. Yeah, keep an eye out, guys. If you're out wandering or you're going like walking or rambling or whatever it is you do, and you can do <laughs> something interesting, I'm don't rambling. stand on each other's shoulders and look into it. No, you know, call and, someone. And please do. It's probably safer. And please, do, I want to thank. First, of all, I want to say a couple of thank yous. Uh, last, of all, I want to say a couple of thank yous. Thank you to everyone who has responded to our recent video about. Um, <clears throat> on the title it's got the collage I'm quite proud of that collage actually um, where it says the world ends we, wow we've had an amazing amount of views from that and I just want to say thank you to everyone and some of the brilliant comments that we've had across Facebook through all the different groups and things people who've asked questions you know some people said we're fear mongering but and that's kind of my bad because I i what? I've just shown him some love, but <laughs> so basically, it's a re the reason I put the world ends is because it's a reference to a DR sixty response that Steve Huff had back in January of this year, um, where he asked what's going to happen in twenty twenty, and it says the world ends. So it's not fear mongering, because the question of the video was trying to propose is why are people getting this message not 
to say that it's going to happen or it's, it's going to be like wrath of god or whatever right it's more to say and what we discuss in that video is more surrounding why are people getting that message not uh, what actually is going to happen because we don't know until it happens or it doesn't happen either way it's good to pause that question so thank you very much guys for joining us love and light and we will see you very very soon take care love and light para peeps hi guys it's jared from paranormal now i hope you like the channel and hope you like the content if you do check out some of the other videos on screen now and click the button below to subscribe to the channel hope to see you soon take care of yourselves